Federation of Open Access Repositories uh, to, to help us, because that's also a, a community of open access repositories, so we we'll work closely with them. The way we're set up is in four different regions, and they're all here in the room today. Um, so their offices, so number one is Minio in Portugal, we have Pedro and, and Eloy. Pedro and Eloy. So, yeah. um, that's the, that's the, they, they manage the, the region south. Um, number two is region west, Ghent, um, Inga and Gwen. <laughs> Gwen's also here. Uh, they manage uh, region <coughs> west. Uh, region north is Mikael um, in Denmark, and uh, I think you're familiar with, um, with him, and uh, he's also uh, managing, setting up this, this workshop. And the third region is... Where's Irina? <laughs> in Ukraine. So that's uh, geographically how we manage ourselves. We carried out a data survey at the beginning of the project just to see what, the, in terms of what data was out there in, the, in, 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 our, in all our partners, what sort of issues they had, and also what, um, what they actually had in terms of repositories and policies. Um, we have missing data, not everybody completed the survey, but what I can tell you is there's a, there's a trend, so to speak. So 16% of our partners have an institutional repository, 16% have a data policy, uh, slightly more on the data policy at funding level, that's 24%. So, of course, there's a lot more work to be done, there's a lot of uh, awareness raising about institutional data repositories. Um, um, in there because there's, there's, a, there's, there's a lack of them in, in many of the countries. Um, we need to identify these repositories um, and once we have them, we can bring them into our information space. So we need to be aware of what's happening. And we're willing to compare results with other organisations who are doing a survey of institutional um, data repository landscape. Training will also be part of what we do in outreach. Uh, we want to train the open air community, but we might look to train further to train researchers as well and librarians. Um, we piloted an event back in, in Göttingen uh, back in April uh, with some real scientists who were quite interested in open air plus, and they asked about questions: uh, is data citation important? Is it as important as citing my publication? And they had questions about licensing schemes for data because they were confused about that. They didn't know that certain licensing schemes out there that you had to use CC BY. But uh, a lot of them were not very willing to share their data at the beginning of their career, especially. Um, you know, I'll publish my paper and I'll share the data maybe two years down the line. Basically, I don't want to do it now. Um, I'll be saved and I'm frightened of sharing my data. Um, some of them said they were just powerless to achieve open access, and that sort of, sort of felt sad to hear somebody say that. So we need to do more advocacy and pushing open access with them. And we need to do more work and really make this all relevant for them. And there's a need from the, um, the Trinity College Dublin said we have to win their hearts and minds and make it very clear to them why sharing and is good and open is, in, is important. And it could lead to better research uh, community for us all if they share. Uh, one of them emailed me afterwards and he said, forget PDFs, imagine an e ideal publication where you click on tables to get through to more data, where you can discuss and later update a paper in subsequent versions. The latter is similar to Wikipedia, actually. So that sort of says that what we're doing now is, is good and we're definitely going the right way. We should be careful and we should be aware of where scientists, future scientists, are going in terms of social media. And in fact, we're starting to talk to, in terms of publications, Mendeley, we're looking at to Figshare and see where the possible collaboration Collaborations are with social media. I'm sure there will be a discussion about that afterwards. Um, working on dissemination material, specifically targeting this to stakeholders, um, newsletters for our community, and we really now have to work on, on targeting the stakeholders, targeting it to specific stakeholders. So I can't give you a general brochure about Open Air Plus. There should be, I think, specific areas to, to bring in, to bring people in and engage them uh, to use our to use our service. Onto services, 